What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. So in this video I'm doing season 2 and episode 6 of my Arsenal career mode. In the last episode I asked you guys, should I do this for another season? And you guys really wanted me to, so thank you so much for the great support. I read through all of the comments, um, so make sure you guys to check out the last episode if you missed it, which was the season finale for the first season. So uh, here we go into the second one and we're starting off with the getting Casola, which we bought a few months ago, but now the window is open. So he's going to be joining up with us, uh, going to be, uh, I think it's last season, um, as a football player and uh, yeah it's just gonna provide us with good squad depth and he's still 83 rated so we're gonna get some use for this guy and uh, now of course we are in the Europa League we are in the FA Cup and Premier League so we need more players and uh, he's gonna do uh, hopefully a nice job and uh, yeah now we're just uh, getting started for the second season and uh, once again I'd like to thank you guys so much for the great support because I read through all of the comments I think there was like 150 comments or something and uh, even though we are in July right now and it's not really the best time to do a series because uh, you know the game has already been on for almost a year uh, but you guys are still showing great support so thank you so much for that and yeah if you keep uh, showing great support throughout uh, the next few episodes I might even do like a season 3 as well uh, we'll have to wait and see how we do in this one but uh, yeah the goals for this season is to get top 4 if we do not get top 4 this season then it's just a massive failure and I deserve to be sacked um, so I feel a lot of pressure going into this one because last year we did not uh, do uh, well in the league at all we ended up 9th place uh, we of course won the FA up and we did uh, all right in the Champions League but now uh, the most important thing is to get far in the league and hopefully we can make a lot of progress this season we got some newcomers as well to the youth team and I found something pretty crazy right here 16 years old 73 rated of course I'm gonna promote this guy to the first team we're gonna give him a professional contract uh, even though he's only 16 73 rated that is crazy and of course this is also the region of Coagriarella who uh, yeah retired last season I believe and now uh, he's really and was right there so that was pretty cool to see and uh, he's got some mad potential so that's really interesting Lacazette and Kolasinac actually went down in ratings but that does not matter because Lacazette has been sold to Real Madrid uh, we got like 50 60 million or something for him so that's a really good business from us right there but I asked you guys of course in the last episode who should we go for we need an attacking midfielder now because Ursula is on the decline and there were so many comments a lot of people said Havertz but I found out that Havertz is way too expensive uh, he was like a hundred million or something only 84 rated as well uh, the goal is 84 as well but I feel like he's not too established just yet I, I need someone with experience right now I need someone that can just to go in the team and make instant impacts so that is the reason I sent the transfer for, for Felipe Coutinho and um, he's obviously had a decent season at Bayern but uh, Barcelona is not looking to use him so hopefully uh, we'll sign Coutinho right there and uh, he can be our star player and of course uh, you know revive his career a bit as well because he has been um, not at his best for the last two seasons I would say on this day he's a world class player and as you guys can see right here they did indeed accept 61 million is uh, the transfer fee which uh, to be honest it's not too bad um, this guy you know is 28 years old I believe 28 years old and uh, uh, yeah he's still got quite a few years in him and he's such a good player as well he can play left wing he, pl he can play attacking midfielder I'm gonna use him as an attacking midfielder most I think and uh, here he is getting announced and about to sign the contract so drop a like guys for this signing I'm really excited about this one our brand new number 10 really creative player and I've used this guy before in pass and he's absolutely unreal Real, so I'm really looking forward to try him out. Hello, my name is Philip Coutinho. It's a real honor and pleasure to have the chance uh, to play for you guys. I hope to see you on match day. I'm gonna do my best in the debut match. Um, so there he is and everything. So yeah, he's joining up with his new teammates right now. Uh, really cool to see that. And that's like the first the big signing I feel like I've actually done in the whole series. I think before this, it was like a Kira or Lemar, which you know was like around 30 million, but this was a 50 million plus signing. So uh, we're definitely making a statement uh, when we uh, bring in these investments now as you guys can see as well uh, the national team rankings have been updated I really wanted to see where Norway is we're actually 36 um, so that was actually pretty interesting to look at there's so many awesome stats and things to watch here um, so I really do appreciate all of the depth that you can go into on this game mode but um, now we have Mesut Özil he's gonna return back to Germany uh, after a good season for us the last year we now say goodbye to Mesut Özil he's gonna join up with Dortmund uh, in his home country so I wish him all the best in Germany hopefully he does really well for them and uh, yeah thank you so much for his support
service uh, to the club. Mickey Tarwin as well, not really looking to use him at all. Uh, he was of course on loan last season, but now uh, he has been sold to Germany as well and will get some decent money for him. But yeah, Coutinho, I of course made him my new uh, number 10 player. Um, he gets uh, the kit right there. Torreira as well will now turn into number 8. I feel like that suits him a bit more than the number 11. And bombing as well is about to get the number 9 kit instead of the number 14 kits. Now that like I said has been sold to Spain. And I feel like we might actually have to uh, buy another striker now because um, this is actually going to be Aubameyang's last season. He is now 31. Uh, he's actually already losing rating. He's going down. He's now an 87. He's probably going to be 86 very soon. So I'm looking at a potential new backup right here. Uh, either Holland or Greenville is the one that I'm really thinking about. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm going to let you decide. Obviously Greenville is like a 6, uh, 7 ratings less than Holland the moment but um, he obviously has a good potential uh, but I feel like Holland would be more of the realistic side to go for um, so let me know down below in the comment section what do you guys think but uh, if you want me to I think I'm gonna get the Holland uh, because Martinelli not good enough just yet and uh, yeah this could be as it said about Max last season so we might have to think about that uh, but as you guys just saw right there party has uh, uh, broken down the negotiations. He's not going to be joining Arsenal. Um, he felt like uh, yeah, Arsenal wasn't a, a big club enough. So uh, that is uh, that is not too great. Um, even though that's really the player that I wanted, uh, I don't think that's going to be happening at least uh, for now. Um, so yeah, now I actually ended up getting some offers right here to manage a national team, and there was a couple of very interesting ones right here. You know, Argentina, um, you know, Serbia, uh, you know, Ivory Coast as well. But unless I actually get an offer from Norway, I'm not can accept any of the uh, national team uh, managers to be honest I'm not really interested in uh, doing that at the moment but as I said guys in the future if I get Norway as an offer then that is gonna 100% to be accepted that'd be really cool um, to try to get Norway into the Euros and stuff but for now I'm just gonna remain the manager of uh, Arsenal and Arsenal only so I have to keep looking for a center midfielder because the party said no Thiago is another very nice option 29 years old he can attack he can defend imagine him in the same midfield as Coutinho that would be a Amazing. Um, so I sent an offer right there 26 million plus a granite shock as well in that offer to Bayern and 200,000 a week for him as well, um, which was a pretty nice offer. But as you guys can see right here, negotiations over Thiago has also broken down. So players does us really seem to want to join the club. I mean, Coutinho joined us from Barcelona, that's a massive club right there, but I don't think uh, Barcelona actually wanted him uh, that much, so they actually let him go very easily. Uh, but you know, it's very difficult to actually uh, get these players right now. I, I went for another offer right there. Uh, you know, now a bit of an improved one as well. More wages, more uh, money to buy in as well. 37 million plus a Shaka. But once again, Thiago has declined a offer and uh, won't be able to sign him. Being compared to a club like Bayern uh, through a spanner in the works. I mean, come on. I mean, Arsenal is not that bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is just uh, very annoying to be honest that no players. Uh, wants to join us now, but we're gonna have to keep looking uh, for another signing a bit later now though We have a very important game against Liverpool. This is a chance at getting another trophy um, You know, it's not the biggest trophy. It's a it's a friendly trophy, but still it's uh, better than nothing and we really want to win this one It's against the Liverpool as well, which we uh, beat a couple times last season actually uh, That was the team that we actually knocked out in the FA Cup um, to get us into the finals, so hopefully we can uh, do that again. This is also the debut of Coutinho against his uh, former club as well, so it's a pretty special one. But here comes a bombing against Allison, smashes it in to the crossbar, and I mean that could have uh, been probably a goal if I went for a bit of a lower, more calm finish. But uh, here we go again, though. Coutinho, very nice ball to Pepe, and this time he scores 58 minutes, and Nicolas Pepe has done it. Allison almost saved it actually, uh, but it ended up going in and very nice the pass by Coutinho as well Already with a beautiful assist in his first game already making an impact uh, That is what I was looking for and Pepe keeps up his form from last season He was obviously our player of the season uh, last year and uh, hopefully he can keep going this year Coutinho now though with a nice chance uh, nice dribbling as well there Absolutely finished off with Fabinho, but now after 77 minutes we sub him out uh, in his debut, we uh, bring on Casola as well to get his debut. Now though for Mino with a big chance here. Leno has to make a crazy save. I cannot believe some of you guys actually want me to sell Leno. He's been very good for us. But now David Luiz loses a header out to Sadio Mane. 
and Liverpool gets the goal in the 86th minute. We were four minutes away from winning uh, the Community Shield, but uh, it's not meant to be just uh, yet at least. Uh, because Mane does indeed get the late goal, which means we're gonna go straight into a penalty shootout as well And we know how we are on penalty shootouts. We are super bad uh, We have lost like uh, two of the last penalty shootouts. So hopefully this time uh, we can at least win one But uh, Mane steps up at first right here and uh, we'll see if he can get the first uh, goal and advantage for Liverpool Leno is ready He's been very good for us. Let's see what he does now, though. He makes a save. Beautiful right there uh, to save the first penalty from Liverpool. And Sadio Mane Salah is really frustrated about that. And now we have a chance to actually go up with uh, the first goal here. Nicolas Pepe steps up. Long run up here. I'm not really a fan of it. And uh, that is a big miss. That is the Nicolas Pepe's fourth penalty miss in a row for Arsenal. Um, so that is absolutely not good enough. Uh, we, we have been practicing them, but um, yeah, still we, we cannot seem to be uh, scoring the penalties, which is really frustrating. Now though, Salah, he is uh, yeah very safe and secure from there. Um, he is such a good penalty taker and um, he scores for Liverpool. Now though, Lemar, I go down the middle and Alisson just stands there. And he absolutely saves it. Roberto Firmino now though up next. And Leno keeps us in it. Without Leno we would have been uh, literally done by after three penalties here. But maybe we have a chance. And oh my god. Torreira misses. Allison makes his third save. And now Miller steps up. And of course he scores as well. And this is not really looking good right now. Casola has to score this one. We have to save as well the next penalty from Liverpool. If you want to have any chance. But Casola goes down the middle and Allison gets his fourth save of the penalty shootouts. What a goalkeeper he is. And uh, yeah, we go out to Liverpool. And we were so close as well. We were literally four minutes away from winning it. But David Luiz makes a massive mistake. And that got me thinking quite a bit because I remember that last season David Luiz was at fault for a lot of goals and situations so now I really wanted to start looking uh, for a center back again and as you guys can see Pepe has a new nickname the monster lefty I'm not too sure about that one I feel like it was not the most creative nickname so I think the fans have to step up uh, their game a bit there uh, but uh, Koulibaly is one that I've seen a few people actually also suggest in the comment sections um, so that is the one I wanted to try to get 80 million is what we're gonna offer and 200,000 a week as well um, for Koulibaly so hopefully Napoli can accept that offer and I think this guy might also be looking to you know get to a new club because it's been at Napoli for a long time now and it this guy, I feel like he belongs in the Prem or something. And uh, now, of course, as well, we're starting to get closer to the first game of the season in the league, which is going to be very important. And yeah, we're going to be ready for them. I certainly want to uh, walk away from the game with a win. Uh, we're going to play against the Crystal Palace as well, which I would say is a more easier uh, opposition than the first game last season, which was against the Leicester. Um, so this one, we should be able to get the three points. That would be a very nice way um, to start the season as well. So we're doing some uh, pre-match team talks right here in the dressing room. Everybody's ready for this one. And um, yeah, it'll be such a good way to start this one off with the win. It's our first time appearing before the home crowd this season. So whatever you do, make this match worthy of the fans. I don't even want to start thinking about what happens if I lose this one. Uh, because obviously towards the end of last season, we had Diego out banners. We had people ranting. DT was going crazy. So we have to get a result in this one. Uh, that is uh, one of the most important games so far, I would say, uh, in my Arsenal career. But uh, Emirates is looking incredible today. Beautiful weather as well. So it's a uh, perfect conditions to play football. And we are obviously going for our strongest team as well. Even though we still have double Luis. We'll be looking for another centre back soon though. But uh, he is going to be starting the first game. Here is the team of Crystal Palace. The Saha is actually playing centre midfield. I thought that was a pretty interesting one. They obviously have Benteke as well. One Arnold. I don't think Benteke have scored in like years. But uh, you know, it's typical things happen when you play against Arsenal so uh, we'll see what happens in this one Aubameyang now on the ball finds Coutinho back to Aubameyang incredible save though from the goalkeeper now maybe Coutinho with his long shots and he makes another very nice save right there so a couple of big moments early in the match now in the second half Bellerin finds Lemar uh, to Aubameyang back to Lemar and he's 3-1 on goal 1-1 one on one against the keeper and he fake shots him and scores I mean he is so cold 
it's Lemar, he stunned that before for us, he did it in the FA Cup final and I believe he also did it in the Champions League or something, but uh, Lemar is uh, too uh, good from that uh, position right there, one on one against the keeper, he is almost every single time going to score and uh, he gets us all the three points in this uh, first uh, game, so not too many chances, not the most convincing win, uh, but you know, some of these players are brand new to the team and the most important thing was to get, you know, the three points and we had a bit of a uh, alright performance as well, I would say, uh, even though we didn't create too much. Uh, Thomas Lemar, man of the match as well, 7.5 rating and that takes us up to fourth place, which is already looking better than uh, anything we could do last season, to be honest. We were never this far up, so I'm happy with that, even though we have literally only played one game, but it's exactly how we wanted to start the season and the fans are happy about it as well. Uh, uh, the press is also going crazy that the Arsenal has won it and uh, that's the goal we're not gonna let up now. We obviously have to not get carried away. Uh, we have to keep this up. Now try to get a few wins in a row, but the negotiations over Koulibaly has broken down as well. And we are still looking to get that next signing. I cannot believe it. Uh, Koulibaly would have been the perfect fit for Arsenal. Uh, he was not convinced we'd use him in the right role. I couldn't believe that I actually said that. Uh, he would obviously be playing every single game for us. Um, so that uh, that sucks, man. We're not going to get the Koulibaly either. At least not yet. Uh, so I kept looking though for centre back. Now we're going to send an offer right here to Bayern again for Lucas Hernandez now. And I'm starting to get a bit desperate. I'm starting to get a bit stressed and worried. Uh, because the window is almost over and we do not have a centre back. And as you guys can see, negotiations over Hernandez as well has broken down. So at this point, I literally have no... No idea what to do, nobody wants to join us and uh, you know it looks like we might have to uh, go for David Luiz for the season which I don't think is very good. Here is our group stage as well, this is how it's looking like in the Europa League for us. Besiktas, Antwerp and Hamilton Ac Academial or something, uh, I think it might be like a Scottish team, I've never really heard about it so I don't even know if it's a real team we should be able to get out of the uh, uh, group stages in the uh, Europa League very very easily. But uh, now we have a game against uh, Bristol City, which is the new promoted team. Um, so we're going to play away to them right now in our second game. David Luiz wins the header. Nicolas Pepe on the ball. Back heel to Aubameyang. And now Lemar is through again against the goalkeeper. But this time he just smashes it straight at him. Uh, not a very good finish from Lemar. But here he comes again now. And uh, just wide off the post. Couple of big chances here. Early in the match, Lemar now though, he finds a bombing with a very nice pass, a bit of a tight angle, tries to find Nicolas Pepe, who smashes it in straight at the goalkeeper as well. I mean, that should have been a goal, but uh, we cannot seem uh, to be able to finish it. Maybe now, though, Aubameyang with some nice pressing. Uh, the defender makes a big mistake, and Aubameyang punishes the defender and uh, scores a very, very nice and easy goal right there. Um, so this uh, took quite a bit of work to get, you know, 55 minutes, and after a lot of chances, uh, we finally get the goal. Uh, Bristol City haven't really created anything at all. Um, so it's just a matter of time to be honest. Coutinho now though finds Lemar to Aubameyang and Aubameyang holds up the ball very nicely to Pepe. Back to Aubameyang now and he finds Coutinho as well. Amazing football right there. Uh, but Coutinho is not able to score it. Uh, Coutinho on the ball again now. Uh, he skips past another player like he is literally not there. Shoots it and hits the post. What is going on? We should have had like five goals something in this game. And David Luiz, what are you doing? That could have been a penalty. And uh, Leno has to save us again. David Luiz, man, he is too scary. Uh, we have to find a replacement. A bombing now, though, after 89 minutes, but uh, just wide again. And uh, here we come again with another chance. After 92 minutes, Nicolas Pepe now. We do not get our second goal of the game, but after so many chances. Uh, we do only score one goal. It's a three points though, but we should have had like at least three goals in this match. So I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't really take our chances. Um, we are not, uh, you know, clinical whatsoever. But at the end of the day, it is the three points, uh, which I guess is the most important thing. We are now sixth in the table with the six points, of course. And uh, yeah, two goals scored. Uh, that's the reason we're not further up because our goal difference is not the best. Uh, we've only scored two, so hopefully we can improve that and get uh, even further. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, Kamavinga is another player I was looking at, and I've seen quite a few people request him. 18 years old, he's definitely one for the future. And before any other clubs uh, pick him up, I really want to try to uh, go for him myself. 46 million, it's a lot of money, but this guy has the best potential in the game. 
he could become like 96, 97 rated. But as you guys can see, negotiations have broken down. No surprise right here. And the reason for that is because he wasn't convinced um, that he was going to get enough of playing time. And to be honest, he's uh, right because I would not be playing him every single week, at least to begin with. He's only 77 rated at the moment. But uh, yeah, he was a long shot right there to try to get him. There are so many other clubs and he's probably going to get the playing time and more at a different club. But uh, of course, I have to keep looking for a signing though. I needed to bring in one more player. Uh, transfer that literally closes in just a few hours. But uh, yeah, I found this one right here on the scouting list, which my scout has actually found. And um, I was wondering why is on TT here? You know, this guy probably plays every single game for Barcelona and he's a very important player. But as you guys can see right here, Barcelona wants to sell him for very little money. There's a high chance of su success for just 29 million uh, pounds. And that is, uh, you know, crazy for an 87 rated player who's only like, you know, 27 years old as well. And um, yeah, we actually got accepted right there. Uh, the, the club actually wants to transfer off for 37 million. That's uh, eight more uh, than I offered. But that is no problem right there. That is still very cheap in my opinion. And we're going to be able to actually sign MT. I'm not too sure why they wanted to let him go for that cheap. I think it may be as a bad relationship uh, with their manager. Maybe he doesn't play. Maybe he's transfer listed. I'm not too sure. Um, but at least uh, we have signed MT to guys. Which is absolutely incredible. Uh, I just didn't really, really think about this guy as a signing. Because I thought that he'd be way too expensive and impossible to to get but um, no the scout found him after uh, probably bad relationships uh, in Barcelona and then uh, now he's joined Arsenal so happy days that is another amazing signing for us right there and then um, he's definitely gonna be an upgrade on David Luiz he's also left-footed so he's gonna fit that the position perfectly and I hope to see you all soon come on Arsenal and uh, that is a very exciting one so guys in this episode we have already signed um, TT and Coutinho drop a like for those two signings and uh, yeah I'm still looking Looking for more so let me know down below in the comment section uh, what you guys think about the next ones potentially getting Holland or something like that. Marcelo has also joined up with the PSG after many years in Madrid and I'm also gonna let uh, Harrington go for 5 million of course he was from the youth academy and uh, we're gonna get some decent money for him he actually ended up getting one appearance uh, where we didn't play too well so yeah we're gonna let him go right there and then uh, now I looked at Harvey Elliott because of course he was a Liverpool player last year but then he went to Dortmund had one season there uh, did all right and now I really wanted to get him because once again this is one for the future this guy could turn into something very very special and as you can see Harvey Elliott is open to the idea of moving on but is asking for better terms that is no problem though we're gonna give him whatever he wants he only wants like a 2,000 more money per week so no problem with that we're gonna accept it and now we have signed one of the best youngsters on the game this guy has the potential of like 95 96 or something so I mean I'm, I'm probably gonna use him in a few games now as well uh, but he can definitely turn into something really really huge in the future uh, Hello, my name is Harvey Elliott. It's a real honor and pleasure to have the chance to wear these shirts uh, I hope to see you all on match day. I'm gonna do my best in the debut match I think this guy actually grew up in London as well um, So he's back here for Arsenal right here of course He has also played for Liverpool before in England uh, but now I feel like in Arsenal it's gonna fit him pretty well and he's gonna get uh, quite a lot of chances as well to progress and get uh, even better as a player but uh, now we are of course going into our first game in the Europa League and then there's a press conference with Aubameyang and uh, the manager myself and uh, this one is uh, pretty interesting because we're gonna play against this Scottish team I believe and their stadium is not uh, very big at all uh, but that's you know how it is when you're in the Europa League but I, I sort of like it as well uh, you're meeting more random teams and the teams that you haven't really heard of or seen before so uh, this is very interesting and it's gonna be very fun to play here um, so I'm going for the strongest team of course this is also the debut of MTT he's gonna get his first minutes on this pitch so Aubameyang a nice ball there to Pepe after nine minutes Pepe keeps going and he gets off a shot there uh, but unluckily he doesn't need to hit the post Coutinho on the ball now 75 minutes have gone we haven't been able to score actually and Aubameyang hits the crossbar after uh, that attempt now comes Lemar though he tries to go for a shot but he gets tackled and Coutinho has a chance here off the free kick and he hits the bar as well I cannot believe it uh, now Harvey Elliott with a chance as well in the bar again three times in a row and for some reason we have not been able to score yet in this match um, Titi now though very nice ball to Gendouzi uh, he keeps going forward finds Harvey Elliott here uh, with a very nice uh, ball uh, he fake shots goes back in the box uh, can he get off a shot here yes he can 
and Harvey Elliott, the youngster, the brand new signing in his debut as well, just been subbed in, he's been playing for 10 minutes or something, and he gets the goal to save us in this match from a very embarrassing result, look at this, I mean that is a very difficult finish as well, he was going like the other way and the uh, the, the ability to even get that uh, shot off is, uh, is very good, so uh, yeah, just a very nice goal there by Harvey Elliott, and uh, I mean, this this guy is special. We can see that already. 89 minutes, and uh, yeah, he saves us for this one. And this team was actually uh, quite a difficult one to play against. Uh, they obviously parked the bus the whole game, but that is very expected. Um, so I wish them all the best of luck in the next two games. Hopefully they can pick up a couple of nice results, and maybe they can be able to uh, get a nice finish. But uh, Besiktas also uh, gets a draw there against Antwerp. So uh, yeah, we are now one in the group, and yeah, it should it should not be too difficult. Uh, to get out of that uh, group stage is right there and uh, we can see the monthly report as well Bernd Leno is now at 87 so once again I cannot believe some people are actually saying I mean there's not just a few people there's actually a lot of people as well and here is in the team of the month next to Lemar and Aubameyang uh, which is also very nice signs but uh, there's so many people saying to sell Leno and I haven't really understood why yet because um, he's actually been really good he saved us countless times already he was really good for us last year as well and uh, yeah, still keep saying, uh, seeing people say get a new keeper or something and I just don't understand why Bernd Leno is definitely not going anywhere. But here comes Abomniang and he smashes that one in. I think that's actually an assist from Coutinho as well. So that's uh, his second assist for Arsenal. Um, yes, it is. So uh, beautiful by Coutinho. Abomniang picks it up and even though it's on his left foot, um, that was just uh, super close to the goal. And yeah, he just smashes that in. Keeper has no chance. After 36 minutes now though, uh, MTT with a nice pass to Coutinho, Lemar tries to find Pepe but the ball is a bit too long, but the keeper makes a huge mistake, the defender tries to clear it, it ends up to Lemar, who can shoot it and he does indeed score as well, what a finish by Lemar, but what was the Newcastle defenders doing right here, it's a complete mess and he tried to clear it, I don't know, I understand why he shot it at his own player, um, but uh, it doesn't really matter, we get the win 2-0 uh, after a couple of uh, really crazy goals right here and the uh, Lemar is on the score sheet again, a bombing as well um, and finally we actually end off a match with more than one goal we actually scored two goals in the match which is a nice uh, thing to uh, see and that puts us up to fourth place now uh, three wins after three games, the same for Sheffield United, Man City and also United is also doing really well. The next game is going to be against City as well. So this is a big one. If we uh, get a win here then it's uh, looking really great. But I think last year we lost to City in all the games that we played against them. So um, City probably one of the most difficult teams to actually face. Uh, we're going to see how it goes now though. Uh, we're going for our strongest team again of course. They are starting with you know Leroy Sané. Aguero is back as well. It's the same team that beat us twice last season. So we'll see how we do this time. Aguero though with a very nice powerful shot but Leno makes a nice save and now Torreira gets the ball and we can try to counter off this attack right here. Aubameyang finds Lemar with a beautiful pass and he is through one on one against Anderson. He is surely going to score here and yes he does. He is calm and he just uh, simply passes that into the net. Uh, for some reason Anderson didn't rush out either so it, in the end it's a very nice a simple finish from Lemar and I'm happy that it was Lemar as well right here in this position because he usually scores this every single time. He's very calm in front of goal so very happy about that and we're actually leading 1-0 against City this is unbelievable Leroy Sané now though on the ball finds Kevin De Bruyne uh, but he cannot get past Kerrer who gets the ball right here finds Pepe and uh, Pepe now with a beautiful pass to Lemar and uh, he pushes off Kyle Walker right there and passes to a Bombiang and Anderson cannot save it and we have scored our second goal away to City what is going on guys uh, we're about to win this game at one of the most difficult places to go in the whole league and um, I mean not a very great finish there by Bombiang either but it was quite powerful and Anderson was not, not able to keep it out another chance here uh, for a Bombiang to get his second of the match but somehow we have won it I think we lost here like 3-1 or something last season so 
Uh, this is obviously amazing. Um, TT has been incredible for us so far. Um, he has really improved our defense a lot. And we're starting to not even let any goals in, which is amazing. Uh, so our defense have really started uh, to turn out uh, incredible. Um, you know, we're now second in the table as well behind United. Next game is going to be against Wolves. And yeah, we haven't uh, conceded a single goal yet. This is incredible. Newcomer on TT as well is topping expectations. He's been so great. So hopefully he can keep it up for this one as well. Aubameyang now finds Guendouzi to Coutinho. He can go for a shot right here. But the keeper makes a very nice save. 60 minutes now. Raul Jimenez finds Traore. Very nice turn here. And he is able to score it. That is the first goal we can see this season. And it's Adama Traore. And I think Amtiti um, might be a bit at fault for that goal. Um, because uh, I don't think he was expecting Traore to turn like that. Uh, but it did and uh, it is now 1-0 to them after 18 minutes now though We need to try to get back into it Coutinho gets fouled that is a disgusting tackle and Coutinho looks to be uh, struggling here He could be injured uh, which obviously is not exactly what we need right now But the uh, Pepe steps up and he scores on the free kick like he did last year so many times He scores the free kick just smashes that ball in and uh, that is a very important goal as well because uh, we were about to lose it and uh, yeah Coutinho ended up on the sidelines because uh, that tackle was uh, quite bad um, so it's not looking too great for Coutinho sadly so in the end we actually draw this one um, that's the first game we haven't won uh, yet in the league which is, says something that is still uh, really really good but um, yeah Wolves is, is a good team though uh, but we're not able to get uh, all the three points we get one point and we're down to fourth now which is still a great we're two points behind the league leaders which is Manchester United um, so it's still all to play for and hopefully we can keep uh, being up there now challenging for the league throughout the whole season that would be uh, very special but the Coutinho suffers an injury so he's gonna miss the next game against the Besiktas in the Europa League hopefully he can be back for the next league game though because we are going to need him uh, without Coutinho this team um, doesn't have too much creativity going forward but we'll see how we can do in this game uh, without Coutinho against Besiktas they've got a couple of good players here they have Vida they have Lalic as well um, so a couple of uh, decent players but uh, we should be able to win this one and uh, get all of the points up bombing now on the ball uh, he tries to find Harvey Elliott to get to start in this one and uh, he misses out he should have uh, scored there maybe another chance now though for Harvey Elliott uh, but he gets tackled, ends up to a bombing on his left foot, but he's not able to finish it off uh, either. Torreira gets the ball here uh, to a bombing, but he gets tackled again. So many tackles and challenges are flying in. Bellerin tries to get the ball, but he's not able to. Uh, there's, they still have it. They find this guy in the middle to Lincoln, and he has a score. And I think I overcommitted right there a bit on TT. I uh, got him way out of position as you guys can see lost his man and uh, yeah no wonder he scored that goal really really bad defending by me and uh, yeah they end up uh, beating us guys which is not great so the first game without Coutinho and we actually lose so I'm, I don't know that, that says quite a lot to me though to be honest that uh, we are struggling without a proper creative um, you know uh, player um, so hopefully he's gonna be back for the next one because uh, he is super important to us and uh, Yeah, I'm not happy about that game at all. So that that makes the Europa League a bit more exciting as well I guess but uh, next game guys is gonna be against United in the league and I really hope that Coutinho will be back for this one So uh, yeah, that is gonna be a big game. Of course, they are number one in the league as well So stay tuned for that one coming next episode Harvey Elliott is now a 72 and Pepe is an 86 so players is making very nice progress and we also have two more players of Bumming and Pepe features in this month's team of the month so very happy about that but thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for the next episode gonna be crazy against United as well hopefully you enjoyed this one drop a like if you did let me know down below in the comment section should I sign Holland or Greenwood but that is all for now I'll see you next time peace out